Here I have a Predator gaming laptop. I'll be doing a teardown. Take a look at inside of the computer and see what other things can be upgraded or the things can be replaced. So let's dive into it. First thing, just to check the model here, take a look at the back of the computer. It says Predator Helios 300 Model N22C3. So that is the model. And I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. We need to remove all the screws here to get the back plate out. So there are four screws here at the bottom. It looks like the screws are all the same size. Okay. Once they're all removed, let's take a look here. See if we can open up the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool to get in between the corner. Once I have enough room, I'll be using a plastic prying tool to stick it in and kind of pry it open right here. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Once the back plate is open, I kind of lift it up and slide it out away from me. Let's take a look at the internal part of the computer. Identify a few items here. At the very bottom you can see is the battery. Here is a M.2 SSD drive. This is your Wi-Fi card. Both of the RAMs are hidden underneath there. We'll take a look at it in just a second. We do have additional slot which allows you to add additional storage capacity of your M.2 drive. We have CPU and a, and a graphics card here with one heat sink all together. All right, so let's first of all, to remove the battery, we have to peel the sticker or the tape. I wonder if this is a I'll slide out. So let's try to slide it out. All right, so the connector, all you have to do is slide it down towards your body. So slide it out. Get a Phillips screw here. Remove all the screws. I think there are two screws holding it down and the entire battery will just come right off. Uh, take a look at the battery here. I think that is the model AP21A7T. Uh, that is the model or oh, look up for the serial number here at the bottom right corner. Uh, that would be the battery for the laptop. Now the things that you can upgrade would be the M.2 drive. Uh, here comes with the two terabyte M.2 drive. I think which is good enough to hold the OS as well as uh, some of the games. Now, if you need more space, what you can do is to install a secondary M.2 drive. What you can do is to go ahead and buy one of these. I'll link it down in the description below where you can find, uh, buy it directly from Amazon or eBay where you can install on the right side of the motherboard. So remove that screw. And put it in. So once you install it, all you have to do is to go to disk management, initialize the disk and format the disk before you can use it because the brand new M.2 drive, they are just pretty much um, haven't in initialized yet. 
All right, let's jump into the RAM. Let's see what are the things you can do with the RAM. So the, there was one screw that's holding it down. And then all I do is just simply lift it straight up. Now you may feel a little bit sticky by removing it because they do have a thermal pad and this thermal pad is to stick it down to the RAM to conduct the heat so um, be careful when you remove them. Now to remove the RAM all you have to do is to push both sides of the clipper away from you they kind of like lock it in so push it away and you can see that the RAM has bulged at 45 degree angle all you have to do is to slide it out. Now here is a 32 gigs of RAM DDR5. That means this computer is running at 64 gigs of RAM. There's a high RAM here. There's a lot of RAM here in Wolf, um, but you can upgrade to, I think 64 may have been the max. I'm not sure if you can upgrade to um, 128. So that there's the two RAM over there. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Well, the keyboard is not replaceable. I can tell that the keyboard, if you have a broken key, uh, keys or uh, damaged key keyboard, you would have to replace the entire, um, the bottom of the, uh, the laptop. Meaning that you would have to remove the motherboard, the heat sink and, and whatnot. Okay, I wonder if the CPU fan can be removed. I might have to peel the tape. Let's try the one on the left. Much easier, it seems like. Some of you may be curious to know if you have to remove the entire motherboard just to get to the CPU. A fan some model they make it that way that you have to do that part um, hopefully this model does not required um, usually held down by yeah that doesn't, doesn't seem like it's required but you may have to peel this tip okay and there's another tip right there let's peel the thing back expose the fan all right there you have it um let's stick it back here there you have it. So the fan is actually um, not required to remove together with the heat sink, meaning that the fan is by itself is not together with the heat sink. So that is a good news. All you have to do is disconnect the cable by pushing uh, this connector away from you and that way you can remove the fan, which is great. Now you may have to re um, buy a tape to re-tape the them back again because the tip is to cover up the tiny little gap for the exhaust heat escaping to the left of the computer great so we know that the cpu fan is replaceable easily um that's the motherboard the ram that's pretty much it not much different uh, mostly asus built the computer are pretty much standard right here. Let me push the battery connector back together and tip it back down and have two of the screws back in. So hopefully you guys like it. Uh, this is pretty much, that's all I need to do to uh, take a look at the computer. If you have any question, please comment down below. Do not forget to check out the link. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find more 
secondary hard drive also as well as more RAM for the computer. Thanks for watching. Take